Michael Power, Michael Gene Power, I'm a senior assistant, going on 61 years old. I stopped in at the Soap Lake Businessman's Club last night, approximately uh, quarter after one. By 1.30, I was being assaulted from behind, from somebody I didn't even see, attacked, and this is what they did to me. Here's my arms. These oh, contusions. A, a torn ACL in my arm and bruised ribs and further uh, injuries are going to be found on Monday by my primary physician because the Grant County Hospital down here in Ephrata didn't have an onboard x-ray technician in the emergency room so they don't even know how bad it really is but I have a report from the um, <clears throat> hospital of what happened to me and the Soap Lake police were called and they decided they weren't going to make a report uh, everybody the whole mob down there which is like 15 against one said nobody saw anything down there and the cop came up here and when I told him that the fucking mob came out. He goes, oh, so now there was a mob? Well, I'm going to guarantee you something. I worked for the U.S. government for 31 years in Bremerton Naval Shipyard on U.S. military ships where I had crews of anywhere from 28 to 54 people. I'm a retired member of the International Brotherhood of Plumbers and Pipe Fitters where I receive a pension, and these punks told me that I was a full of shit. That's another thing they're arguing with me about when they're kicking my ass, telling me I'm a fucking liar, that I'm not retired, which I am. I can show you my credentials. And, uh, the Soap Lake Police didn't do anything but harass me. Didn't take a police report, didn't do anything. So, I've already contacted my friends in the Sheriff's Department, and they said to contact the Chief of Police and give him one chance to make it right, because he said all my policeman friend, the Sheriff, said all they have is a bunch of flunkies here that uh, work on the weekends. They're just, uh, what do they call them? Junior cops, not even real cops. They're in training, and they should have somebody supervise them, and they don't. So my Grant County Sheriff friend said, give him the chance to investigate what they did by the Chief of Police, and if he doesn't, to bring all the copies down there, and the 911's already been called about this, and they will deal with these people here in Soap Lake. Because evidently they think that it's okay for 30-year-old punks to beat up a 61-year-old man, and nobody's seen anything. So, but this has been going on in Soap Lake since I've lived here. Yeah, thank you.